An international team of astronomers led by researchers from the Netherlands has found no trace of dark matter in a galaxy called AGC 114905, which lies about 250 million light years away. The nature of dark matter is unknown, but the prevailing view among astronomers is that the gravitational effects of this mysterious substance are needed to explain anomalies in the rotation of galaxies such as our own Milky Way and in how galaxies move within clusters. AGC 114905 is what's known as an ultra-diffuse dwarf galaxy. It isn't a dwarf in size, in fact it's roughly as big as the Milky Way, but it contains a thousand times fewer stars and so is a dwarf in terms of its luminosity. It's a commonly held view these days that the properties of galaxies and certainly those of ultra-diffuse dwarf galaxies can best be explained by the presence of large amounts of invisible dark matter. In fact, it's been estimated that dark matter accounts for 85% of all the matter in the universe. Between July and October 2020, the team behind these latest results collected a total of 40 hours of data on the rotation of gas in AGC 114905 using the Very Large Array in New Mexico. Then they plotted a graph of the rotation speed of gas in the galaxy against distance from the center. The graph turns out to be exactly what you'd expect if the galaxy contains only normal matter. That result flies in the face of conventional wisdom. So if AGC 114905 really is devoid of dark matter, what can it mean? In the paper announcing their results, the researchers put forward several possible explanations. Maybe this galaxy has been stripped of dark matter by large nearby galaxies, but in fact, it has no such neighbors. Some opponents of dark matter believe that our current theory of gravity is wrong and that the anomalous rotations and other movements of galaxies can be explained by something called MOND, which stands for Modified Newtonian Dynamics. But this theory also fails to account for the new data. The researchers point to only one factor that could change their conclusions and that's the angle at which the galaxy is tilted to our line of sight. If the estimated angle at which they think they're observing the galaxy differs enough from the real angle, it could let back in the possibility of dark matter. But the discrepancy would have to be very large and therefore seems unlikely. Meanwhile, the team is turning its attention on a second ultra-diffuse dwarf galaxy. If no trace of dark matter turns up in this one either, astronomers will have yet another intriguing puzzle on their hands.